Welcome to Grace Chapel. And this morning, it's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen? Amen. I was glad when they said to me, come to the house of the Lord. And here we are today. Praise God. It's snowy. The winter is still here. <laughs> and praise God, we're here. Amen? Amen. So this morning, uh, I'm going to start off by asking our sister Elizabeth. There's a few announcements there this, this morning. <laughs> is if you had a January or February birthday, um, we'd like to kind of keep doing what Pastor Jim has us do. You'll see that we cashed it in before and we got $22 or so to add to our mission. So if you have your change and had a January or February birthday, come on up and we'll put it in the little church. Oh, you, <laughs> you too, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Happy birthday to you. have like a little get together dinner, um, watch his series, and then have a discussion following it. So I would like to invite anyone that's interested to just let me know or sign up. Um, I'm thinking Monday nights would be the best because that's when I my my house is the most clean and I Praise the Lord. That is wonderful. Well today's message will coincide with, with that for you. Karen, very much so. Praise the Lord for that. Amen? Hallelujah. God is good, is He not? He is great, and He is wonderful and merciful. Amen. Let's open in prayer this morning. <laughs> Heavenly Father, in Jesus' precious and glorious name, Father, by your Holy Spirit, you have drawn us into your house here this morning, that we may hear from you. And Father, we want to thank you that you speak to us. We want to thank you that you inhabit the praises of your people. We want to thank you, Lord Jesus, that you like every single aspect of our lives and to interact with every bit that we are doing, oh God. And Father, that we also should interact with you, that we should draw near to you and draw close, that we may touch the hem of your garment and receive all that you have in store for us, Lord God. Father, I ask that you would open every ear, every heart, 
heart this morning and every mind to hear what the Spirit has to say. Father, we thank you for your presence here this morning. May every single word that comes from uh, my mouth today be yours, O oh God, and nothing else. Father, we thank you for all that you're going to do today. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's stand up this morning for a time of worship this, this morning. Amen. Turn in your hymn and, and We may have it up there as well. Yeah. Yeah.
Please be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, I just want to say something before Charity picks up once again here on our worship. Normally, I would just keep going and I would just continue in the worship. But I want to say this morning, just a little brief moment before we continue with worship, that standing in the presence of God and worshiping Him, He's looking for worshipers in spirit and in truth. Amen? And I want you to feel that you're able to raise your hands, you're able to stand in the presence of God and not worry about what someone standing next to you is doing. Amen? I would prefer that you just put your eyes on Jesus and look to Him and take these hearts that God gave you and just sing out with all that you have. Amen? That doesn't mean that you have a, have a perfect voice or any of that. The Lord sings, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, right? Amen? And a lot of times that's what it is, right, Laura? It's a joyful noise. Amen? Hallelujah. And this morning... I just want, in the name of the Lord, set you free this morning. Be free in, in this house of worship, because this is what it is. It's a house of worship, a place that we can give praise, honor, and glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. And that doesn't mean that just because you had a hard week that we can't praise Him. Remember, it's a matter of, of what we determine to do. You may have had the worst week you could possibly have. You may have had everything happen to you that you would prefer never to have happen. But still, we make the choice before God to stand and say, thank you, Lord. Though I was persecuted, though I was hurt this week, though I suffered this week, I'm going to stand before you just like King David, and we're going to shout and we're going to sing, and we're going to give you glory, because I know, Lord, that you have everything. Amen? So now let's stand back up in a time of worship, charity, and, and we'll, we'll go back before the Lord and uh, praise God. Amen. And it's good to have all you children here today. Praise God. It's good to see you. In the eye of the storm, thank you, Jesus. You remain in control. Hallelujah. In the middle of the war, you guard my soul. You will hold my anger when my sails are torn. Yeah. The surrounds me in the eye of the storm. Does it feel like this week has been a storm? With the storm in many ways. It's falling out from underneath my feet. Between the black skies and my red eyes. I can barely see when I realize I've been so proud of my friends and my family. I can feel the rain reminding me in the eye of the storm. You remain in control.
on our side, praise God. Everything that could possibly go wrong, he's on the right. Hallelujah. He's on the right side. He's on the side of things that has the authority in Jesus Christ to change them and bring blessing where darkness has come. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is here. He's here. He's in here. Deep within our hearts. And he lives. And he's alive. And he's well. Amen. God bless you. you may be seated. There's such innocence and beauty in children. There's, things are simple at that point in time, when you're young and you're little. And things are recognizable that where as we become adults, we get filled with so much of the world and so much in our minds and so much gets downloaded in our, our spirit that we forget how simple God's Word is. Amen. Honey, would you teach the children? Have, will the children come forward, please? Would you like to come sit right here? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Are you going to stay there? Okay, thank you. You know, no matter how old we are, young and old, big or small, we all got children. And you know, but some of us are very hard to smile because whatever we go through, and Sean God promised He will help us. We know that, we know that. But it's sometimes so hard for some of us to smile. The joy in us not really flow out as we like to. But you keep it this way, keep it remember. I remember when I was a mother, I loved to take up my children. You take up them, and I love to hear them laugh. I love to hear their joy and their smile, they laugh. And I love to hear that. And I took take of them so they can laugh. They had no joy, but they had to laugh. They had no joy, but they had to smile. Because tickle is so hard, so you know, they laugh. And as for mother, I love to hear them laugh. It's so nice to hear them laugh. Bring joy in my heart to hear them laugh. So I like to tickle them. Same more with God. God loves you. When you sad, he sad. When you happy, he happy. So sometimes it is hard for to smile or laugh. Just remember, be that little children again. Remember, if your mom and dad tickle you back then, you had that joy in you, let the joy come back. Let the joy come back in your heart. He loves you. 
So we need to laugh to be happy because that is the medicine for our soul. Medicine for our soul. Laugh, happy, smile. I've been sharing with you 